Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Look what I just bought. This little Craftsman Edger. 140 cc. Haven't even started it yet. We're gonna try it out. See how it runs. See how good it is. Came in this box right here. Came almost complete. I didn't really have to add anything except for this little pouch of oil. Easy pour little tip on there. Came with an extra blade. So it comes out of the box so these were loose right here this was folded backwards all just like you see it how to put this cable on real simple runs down there hooks on real easy so I just filled it up with oil put some 93 gas in there uh, it says to prime it three times and then we're gonna try and start it see what happens so I got the blade up all right, let's, let's give it a go. Let me turn this off. All right, so I got it started. Uh, we're at the end of my driveway. Let's see if I can do this all the way up the driveway, one hand, one hand on the camera. I'll get it started and get the blade set. All right, so we just edged this side. Let's see what it looks like. It's pretty good all the way down. There's the grass. It's my first edge of the season. So there's the grass. Some of it, a lot of grass that I got off the edge here. There's another pile of the grass right here. So it's a lot of grass. It saves my back if I not have to use a weed eater on it. Every week, like I'm supposed to, there'll be a real nice, good edge here. Um, still damp. The ground is still damp. It says not to do it with damp ground, wet. So you get a lot of mud inside the blade and a little guard, the blade guard. So here's the grass from this side of the driveway. So I'm gonna let it dry out for another day or two before I try and do up here and up here about the door um, it does have the curb hopping feature on it where you can lift this wheel up right here and that wheel and then you get up on the curb which my curb area is still wet so we're not gonna do that bad thing is we definitely get a lot of mud in here jammed up with mud so that's because I didn't wait like I was supposed to. I want to try it out right now. That's another pile of mud I scraped out from under the blade guard. So definitely let it, your ground dry out for a few days after it rains. Add a lot of, a lot of grass there because I didn't edge my driveway in over a year. But it looks pretty good now though. So I'll come back in a couple days and finish, get around here and pick these hoses up get the backyard and then I'll show y'all what it looks like all right guys so we're back it's a couple days later I uh, figured out it has to be dry to edge the concrete let's look at the concrete over here let's get our edge line so you see how sharp it edges it'll edge pretty good if it's dry it'll do a good line let's see what it looks like over here See it's kind of straight, but there's a bunch of dirt and nasty. It's kind of muddy, so I let it dry out. You can see all the grass that still sitting there. I cut. I didn't clean it up yet. Let's talk about the belt system on here. As you can see, I broke the belt. Brand new. I had about 20, 25 minutes of use on this bad boy. 
and the belt broke. I go buy a new one. Yeah, that thing is junk. So, I bought the 140cc. I thought it was going to be a big, powerful motor. Well, it doesn't rev up it, uh, when you're in mud right here. You get mud in here. It doesn't bog the motor down. It doesn't rev the motor up. It doesn't do anything like that. It just stops spinning and the belt breaks. Right there. So, I had to go to Lowe's, buy another belt, put it on. It's a pain in the butt to put on. You got to try and feed it through here. There's no room in there. Barely feed it. Squish your fingers. It hurts. You got to figure you got to get a pry rod to take, push this in. Take the tension off here. Probably need two people to do it. It's a pain in the butt. It sucks. So, if you have one, this is the belt and belt number uh, to replace the belt for that. I bought two because you never know if the next one's going to break again. So, I paid $320 for it. Uh, I thought it was going to be super awesome. It edges, but not as well as I thought a $320 edge was going to do. Um, not very... I'm not... $320 satisfied. I bought $140 satisfied. If that makes sense. I got the bigger motor. I thought it was going to be awesome. And it's just not as awesome. If I knew the belt was the weakest link and it was going to break like that. A little bit of plugged up mud. Now you can take this off. If you want to edge without a guard. Not advisable. Don't recommend it. But... No point of paying $320 for the big motor. Just get like 25cc or 75cc. And uh, it'll probably do just as good as a job. The wheel hopping thing, or curb hopping I should say. This little handle right here. Push the handle. Wheel comes down. And then you can get up on the curb. I did the curb out here. So it's still kind of wet and muddy out here. But I did the... It gets up on the curb. I need to do it again. So it's still kind of damp. I'll do it again. So, for 340 bucks, not as pleased as I think I should be. Uh, if you buy one, go ahead and get the extra belt. Because this one broke. Um, I mean, it does, if it's dry, it's going to do it. It's going to do a, what it's supposed to do if, it, if your ground is super dry. But, I don't know. Maybe it's my first time. Maybe I just wasn't doing it right. It was my first time. But, that's the thing. If you want it buy it if you don't want it get the get the cheaper one i recommend getting the cheaper one all right guys give me a thumbs up thanks for stopping by checking out my channel if you have any questions put them in the bottom appreciate it give it a thumbs up share with your buddies thank you